What is going on YouTube? It has been a little bit since I filmed a video, but I did get some more car parts and I want to show you guys what I got. So to start it off, we have an auto meter. Um, this is a dual gauge steering column cluster piece thing, whatever. Um, so I'll put my wide band and my boost gauge in here instead of having them flap around above my steering wheel area. Um, so it'll clean things up there. I also did get a little LED light um, and this is what I will use to light my boost gauge. Um, if you guys didn't know, that doesn't have a light in it, so when it's dark out, I have no idea how much boost I'm making. So, uh, that will be really helpful. I also did get uh, a little battery box, and I plan on running uh, this little light off of the battery box instead of the car battery. I think it would just kind of eliminate uh, any issues. Um, I've had some problems with the car like draining the battery so I need to chill with that stuff. I have an underdrive pulley on the alternator um, if you guys didn't know. So all of these electronics that I'm wiring in uh, they take away from battery life so uh, I'm just gonna kinda do its own little system just for that little LED bulb. I also these ones aren't new but I've had these since I got the car basically um, we got the car uh, one of the first things to do was the raceland coilovers and also the stiffer um, like polyurethane based bushings in the control arms uh, to kind of stiffen up the ride so I got all of that and then I bought these sway bar end links from raceland as well um, because since you're lowering the car the geometry is going to be a different position um, for the sway bar so I bought these, I never used them, and then I was watching an Adam LZ video and actually remember that I had these. So yeah, pulled those out of uh, storage and those are going to go on the car sometime soon. I also picked up Prothane from Sway Bar bushing kit, um, and these are polyurethane. Uh, they are very stiff, very, very stiff bushings um, just to kind of tighten up the Sway Bar and make it ride a lot tighter and better. So, yeah, that's that. I also did get some wiring stuff for the car. Got some RC car connectors because these things are really easy to work with. They're consistent, um, tight fit. Um, they're pretty waterproof, honestly. These ones aren't advertised to be waterproof, but they actually do seal up pretty well against water and stuff like that. So, um, I like these. Um, I also did get some of these like generic, uh, supposedly waterproof, uh, connectors here um, and yeah it's just uh, for bigger plugs uh, just to have different connectors and then the big big purchase which wasn't that big of a purchase because it was only $35 guys 35 it is a 340 liter per hour fuel pump it is a Kemzo uh, eBay cheap fuel pump and I got it for 35 bucks it is designed for Volkswagen 1.8 2.0 or I assume the 2.0 is the same as the 1.8 whatever um, all of those uh, Volkswagen models that use this uh, style of pump and yeah it is supposed to flow 340 liters per hour um, the stock one I believe was 108 or something like that um, so this is massive gains um, it was only 35 bucks so I was like why not give it a shot I've got a wideband controller so I can see what's going on in terms of fuel if it's starting to lean out uh, we can always take it back out put the stock one in um, and then buy the Deech Works uh, DW65V I believe is the name brand one that I would be getting if this doesn't work out um, so it was worth a try um, that's always been like the the thing of this build is just kind of uh, making stuff work that shouldn't work um, so hopefully it works that'd be cool um, but if not then we have a name brand part that we can default to so no big deal um, and hopefully we don't blow up the car with this <laughs> um, so anyway that is basically what I have so far 